Now the topic before us is volume of a right circular cone. We have already learnt what is the meaning of right circular cone. Now we will do an experiment to find out the volume of a right circular cone. For that purpose, we make a hollow cylinder as well as a hollow cone which have the same height you can see here that this cylinder and this cone have the same height and the base radius of both that is the cylinder as well as the cone is the same you can see here that this is the radius of cylinder and this is the radius of the base of the cone which are same so we will try to find out the volume of a right circular cone now you can see that first of all we will fill this cone with sand up fully up to the brim and we will then empty it into the cylinder when we empty this cone into the cylinder which is full of sand we will find that this cylinder is only, only filled only partially then we again do the same thing we again fill the cone with the sand up to the brim and then again empty it out in the cylinder we again find that the cylinder is not fully filled then for the third time again we repeat we fill the cone with the sand and empty it into the cylinder but here we will see that this cylinder is now totally filled that is when we do this process for three times that is we put the sand which is filled in the cone we do this process three times the cylinder will be fully filled so what we have seen we can safely come to the conclusion that when the cone and the cylinder have the same height and have the same base radius then the three times the volume of the cone makes up the volume of the cylinder in other words we can say that volume of the cone is one third the volume of the cylinder so volume of the cone is one over three pi r square h where r is the base radius and h is the height of the cone thanks for watching if you like our course please spare some time to give a star rating to our course